Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege, we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this commission showcase. Today we've got some custom schemed Adeptus Mechanicus, uh, some really, really cool miniatures that have been completed by Kieran, one of the artists here at Siege, uh, in a really cool black, purple and orange scheme. Uh, so get ready, there's loads of little accent details and things that have all been fully painted on this commission and uh, we're way better place to start than with the two characters from the force, like we always do. We've got uh, two brilliant models, obviously, released by GW. So we've got, obviously, the Tech Priest Dominus and the Tech Priest Engine Seer. Uh, let's start with the uh, Engine Seer to start off with. Uh, again, a really, really cool model. Uh, and you can see Kieran's done a lovely job of painting these in this uh, sort of uh, really saturated uh, purple colour, the way that's the, the predominant colour, aside from all the metal work that you'd expect with Adeptus Mechanicus. Um, Again, really nicely done. Uh, nice desaturated golds used on this as well, just to show a very ancient uh, kind of uh, steampunk-esque kind of feel and vibe on these miniatures also, uh, which I think is quite really, really nice. You've got the uh, Mechanicus cog there, all fully painted and, and halved as well, which is really nicely done. Uh, the metal work, obviously, just looking very worn and used, as you'd expect with any Adeptus Mechanicus. Some of the little screens and things all painted in the green just to complement that purple really nicely also. Uh, and then you've got a lot of the lenses in the red as well, which also complements that purple. Uh, but just really, really nice executed and that is this awesome awesome tech priest engine seer to uh, to be one of the uh, leader models from the force uh, and then what uh, adeptus mechanicus force wouldn't be complete without an, a tech priest dominus uh, again a really really phenomenal miniature with loads of detail and you can see kieran's done a phenomenal job of painting all the little bits and bobs like the vials with liquid inside them in that orange hue as well which i do really really like and obviously complements and works with the purple really nicely uh, again you can see all the lenses and things done there in a red on the head and also on the side of the head I've uh, got this really awesome orange glow just on some of the weaponry as well, which I think is quite cool. Uh, but I really do love those vials just on the back, just with those uh, really nice refraction of light on those volumes, um, just to obviously show that there, there's liquid sloshing around inside uh, inside those vials. Uh, if we move around the back, you've got a nice also green glow here on this weapon, just again, a green to complement the purple, which just works really well. That consistent sort of desaturated gold across the miniatures as well, uh, just to really give that uh, that sort of steampunk Esper rock kind of feel that we wanted with this project. Uh, and then you've got a lovely sort of urban basing style across the whole entire force, which you're going to see on this miniature and all the others throughout the showcase. Uh, so that's the two uh, HQ models or leadership models from the force. And uh, we've got loads of other awesome miniatures coming. So stick around for those. So next up, we've got a vast swathe of Adeptus Mechanicus infantry. Uh, and this project has got a really nice selection of both Forge World and also Citadel or Games Workshop miniatures. We've got uh, 20 Secutari Hoplites. Uh, they are the Titan Guard and they're the two squads at the front. We've then got 20 Skitari Vanguards and then 10 Skitari Rangers. So a really nice selection of miniatures from this uh, sort of two different ranges that you can get for the Adeptus Mechanicus. Um, going to start by looking at the hoplites which are the titan guard and uh, kieran's done a lovely job on these uh, just really painting them in this super super clean and uh, vibrant sort of purple that you've seen across the rest of the force uh, the other thing i really like about them as well is they've got these almost like roman-esque kind of vibe to them which i think is really really cool and uh, just works extremely well with the uh, the overall look of the miniatures before painting's even done uh, you can see all the mechanicus symbols are all fully painted on the miniature also uh, got these lovely white inner parts of the uh, shields and then obviously on the uh, all the cloaks fully highlighted and fully painted to a super high standard uh, all the beauty seals and lights and things done in red as well so that's just one of them uh, we'll move through and have a look at a few of the squad just so you can have a look at the different sort of poses and things but again really really well executed so you've got the black sort of uh, trousers on these guys also and all the uh, steel and gold in very desaturated colors to show the very ancient uh, the mechanic the sort of the mechanical parts of the miniatures uh, and I do like that contrast between those darker colors on those areas and also the brighter colors on the on the purple hues just jump across to the other squad so you can see uh, the other sort of 10 on the other side again really really nicely executed across all the models uh, so super super clean finish on them and uh, really nice attention to detail the little red lights and things on the backpacks uh, and obviously all the sort of glowing effects on the helmets lenses and things which are just awesome uh, let's just pull forward another one so you can have a look at let's just pull forward this chap here at the front um 
Again, just more of a relaxed pose, just uh, sort of on guard, perhaps. Uh, but I love these kind of spears that they've got. I think they're really, really cool. Obviously, the background of these guys is they protect the Titans when they're on sort of a march, which is really cool. Uh, so that's the hoplites. Then we've obviously got the uh, the twenty Skatari, but. Uh, um, Twin Skatari uh, Vanguard here at the back. Uh, again, really nice set of models. A variation of weapon loadouts. We've got some of the plasma cavalrys, uh, and we've obviously got some of uh, the different weapon loadouts here. So just get this to focus. You can see that lovely, lovely uh, sort of energy glow that's been done on the miniature as well on the plasma coils. Uh, but again, every little detail fully painted on these guys uh, to a super, super clean finish on them as well. Uh, so that's just one of the Vanguard. Um, and then fall forward to one of the uh, sort of lead squad leaders. This guy's kind of charging as well, which is really of course he's charging away there with a mole uh, and a raised pistol as well with that green energy glow as well which i think works extremely well on the model uh, so that's just one of the squad leaders uh, and then again you can see the whole host of plasma weaponry throughout here uh, just pull this weapon so you can have a look at this again really nice kind of green energy glow just on here as well uh, you can see all the lenses and everything all fully painted in a red as well to complement both the purple and also the green hues on this miniature but again all the text on the purity seals there as you see uh, and again every little bit of detail on these awesome models fully done uh, we'll jump through it to the other unit just so you can see the other squad and the same consistency on the miniatures again really really nicely executed very steampunk-esque as i keep saying but i really do love adeptus mechanicus and uh, the models just in how sort of ancient they look uh, in that sort of robotic nature that they've got but again all the gold work very desaturated didn't want to take away from the bright purple far too much uh, so just pull forward a few from this squad so you can have a look at them but again really nicely done here uh, by Kieran and that's those and then at the back we've also got 10 of the rangers uh, again slightly different miniature obviously um but uh, different sort of head on these, but then you can see all the lenses and everything fully done in a red also, uh, as you've seen across the rest of the force and uh, all the other miniatures that you've seen so far. Uh, again, just one of the ranges here, really, really nicely done. Uh, so let's have a look at one of the rifles, one of the Archivist rifles. Again, just a great, there's three in that back squad. Uh, again, just a phenomenal, phenomenal model. Obviously, that massive rifle uh, very much reminds me of an old sort of World War II anti tank, uh, Russian anti tank rifle, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, so that's just one of these awesome Archivist rifles. And you can see this, uh, this sort of urban basing that's been done across the force also as well. Uh, but that's the vast swathe of infantry that this, uh, this project has got. And as I said, a really nice selection of over 50 models in this force. Uh, so do hope that you like it we've got some awesome miniatures to finish off this uh, this commission uh, and they're coming up right away so next in this force we've got three awesome catafron breaches and then we've got two scorpius dune riders uh, a great way to finish off the force with some transports for all that infantry that you've seen and then also some heavier infantry just to back up the advance across the table uh, the catafron breaches again really cool models uh, and kieran's done a great job on these also uh, just to use that sort of purple uh, colorway with some white accent marks here on the side as you can see um, just to add a little bit of extra detail to the miniatures obviously a very sort of ancient and worn feel across the force as you've seen through the infantry and through the characters uh, but every little detail fully painted on these miniatures uh, you've got the mechanicum symbols and the mechanicum symbols just all done obviously in that half scheme uh, those white sort of uh, unit markings that you can see here just on the uh, on the side of the miniature also and then a, a very very pallid and pale kind of flesh tone just on the uh, on the fleshy parts of the miniature just to show that sort of uh, servitor-esque kind of uh, well occupant inside the machine so to speak uh, and then obviously the little red uh, lenses and things all painted on these guys also on the headdresses there which is just really really cool so that's this awesome awesome first catafron breacher we'll look through at the other uh, uh, the other two from the units again we've got another one here with just with a green uh, sort of energy weapon uh, just to obviously uh, complement the purple with that green colorway on there as well but again you can see the unit marking there with that white stripe um, and as we move around you can see the real sort of desaturated golds that are just used on the miniature which I do really, really like the look of. Uh, just works with the uh, the overall vibe of this uh, Mechanicus sort of commission. Uh, again, you've got some grey armour panelling there just on the side of the weaponry and that lovely orange, uh, sorry, green <laughs> green energy glow that's just been done on there. Uh, still thinking back to those vials on the uh, on the Dominus. Uh, but yeah, really, really well executed. Uh, do absolutely love the super vibrant purple that's been used on the armour of these as well. Uh, and again, if we just have a look at the final one here, uh, with a really, really nice attention to all the aspects of detail on the miniature, the little lenses and things done in red, as I mentioned, 
and uh, the steel and metal work all looking very, very worn, which is just great on these uh, on these breeches. So that's those three. Then we've got the awesome, awesome uh, Scorpius Gene Riders. So the uh, the transports for all that vast swathe of infantry that you saw. And uh, Kieran's done an incredible job on these. If we just get this to resume in, in focus. But yeah, as you can see, the nice white striping just done on the uh, on the side of the uh, the tank there, or the hovercraft, as I should say. Uh, just obviously to note the sort of uh, the, the, the unit markings. And uh, same on the front and same on the turret armor guard there, as you can see, same on this side. But again, all the little lights and everything all fully painted. Uh, a nice, sharp, consistent edging done across all the armor paneling as well. And then inside, we've got the two crewmen just uh, blasting away there with those stubbers. You can see all the little lights and dials and everything painted in that ready orange as well. Just really, really making the finishing off the miniature with the little details. Uh, you can see the nice, vast ammo feed there from the uh, from those containers, obviously, into those stubbers. And the two crew members just uh, ready to defend their occupants of this transport. I love the servitor gunner on the side as well. Just really, really cool. Uh, and you can see that grayish, bluish color used on the weapon casings again just same as on the breaches uh, but just really really well done so that's the first of the two then we'll just look at the other one for consistency purposes uh, but again Kieran's done a great job on these uh, exactly the same obviously with that white banding unit marking across there the super sharp highlighting done on all of the edge uh, edges of the miniature uh, and again you've got the white unit marking on the front all the lights and dials and everything all painted uh, as you can see the exact all the metal work painted and to look worn as well which is really good the commander just saying go that way uh, which is really cool and you can see all the lights and him all the little the details all fully painted on him and the crew members again exact same consistency throughout on all of these so really really well done uh, and that's the two scorpius gene riders uh, to take all that vast swathe of infantry that you saw from the earlier part in the video uh, so do hope you like it ever so much guys uh, this is an awesome custom scheme with Mechanicus mechanicus force we've had the pleasure of working for our clients do hope you liked it ever so much and i'll see you very soon on the next one take care bye bye So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.